Trey now supports agent skills. You've probably run into this. You've explained your web design styles and code review standards to your agents over and over again, or even just repeatedly asking agents to do some data extractions in your work. What if you only had to explain it once and agent can act like a professional knowledge worker? So with skills, you can now package instructions, workflows, to use and expertise into a skill and Trey automatically applies it when needed. Now let's take a brief look at what is skill and I'll walk you through how to create and use skills in Trey. So first, let's take a look at the structure of a skill. So a skill is simply a folder containing a skill.md file. It's a markdown file that tells your agent what the skill does and how to use it. You can think of it as a user manual for your agents to read on demand. And in this folder, you can see that we have several skills created under the tray slash skills folder. And skills are written in standard markdown formats, making them easy to create, read, and share. And a skill is a small bundle consisting of a name that identifies the skill and a description that explains what it does and when the agent should use it and a body of instructions for more complex workflows. Now let's take a look at how to create a skills just by chatting with AI inside the solo mode. So let's start simple with a data analysis task. So now I have this folder with some of the weekly user feedback data, which are dummy data, by the way. So if I have to run this user feedback report weekly over this 10,000 data, then I can create a skill to help me automate this data analysis report for the user feedback. And my initial prompt is going to look like this. Create a skill to help me analyze the sentiment of user feedback based on different product categories and generate a diagram based on weekly user feedback. So let's see how Solo can help me create a skill. Now you can see that Solo just helped us create this feedback analysis skills where it actually generated the instructions of the skills. And let's see how we can run it. Now I'll ask Solo to create a diagram to summarize the last week's user feedback. So you can see that it's actually launching the skill that we just created. And currently Solo is writing up the reports for us. And now we can see that using the skill, we just easily generate a user feedback sentiment analysis by the different product categories over the past one week. So this is how you can save a lot of repeated workflows and instructions by using skills in Trey. And besides creating skills right inside your chat, you can also go to the settings and go to rules and skills. And under the skills, you can actually import existing skills.md files or create one yourself here. So for this image compressor project, the website is currently AI generated, and I want to apply some of the front end design best practices to make the website looks much better. Here, I just imported a skill called front end design. This is how the website looks like right now. And I want to apply the front end design skill that we just added to bring a better visual to it. Here's my initial prompts looks like, and I want to, and I want to redesign the website using minimal brutalist style and make it looks like a magazine page. So now you can see that it's actually launching the front end design that we just added and then applying the skills and the instructions into this workflow. So just within a few minutes, we just got a new website. So it looks like the website just got redesigned entirely using the styles that I preferred. So I can also apply the same skills to other pages that I'm building to make sure that the visual designs are consistent within the whole product. So this is one example of how you can use skills to create high quality and consistent outputs. So we just went over how you can create and use skills in Trey in different kinds of scenarios and projects. And I hope this is helpful to you. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave in the comments below and see you in the next one.